Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jacer. In this video, I'm going to solve number five on bfe.dev. It's implement throttle with leading and trailing option. So this is a follow up on number four. Um, I've already solved this one. So if you're interested, please search on my channel for this, uh, uh, for the explanation for this, of this problem. Okay, in this problem, you're asked to implement the enhanced uh, throttle, which accepts third parameter option. Uh huh. Leading and trailing. Um, leading whether to invoke right away. Trailing whether to invoke after the delay. Uh huh. So number four is actually the default case with leading true, trailing true. So for example, this is the same example as the as this one. With leading true and trailing true, leading so A will be trigger, then B stashed stashed. And then delayed, uh, execute, uh, triggered C, and then D, trading true. So D is uh, triggered, and E G, F, uh, was F was swallowed by G. Yeah. If leading false and trading true, which means A is not triggered right away, and uh, because C is after A and A is swallowed, so C, and D. D training, so D, and then E is e swallowed training. Leading is false. Okay. If leading true, training false means only the only the new trigger triggered a call, a real a calls. So A is triggered, and the the uh, formerly stashed B and C are swallowed, and then D is a new one. E is a new one. Leading false, training false means nothing happened. Okay, so let's first copy the code we did in the previous uh, problem. Okay. Okay, so in the previous prob uh, problem, what we did is actually like this. We check is Kuni or not, call the, the postponed call. If if it's called if cooling, then stash it. If not cooling, run it and set the timer. When time is up, reset cooling. And if stashed, call call it. Go to one. So the idea is the same actually. Now the problem becomes uh, becomes how should we handle the flags, right? Okay, timer stash the same. Start cooling the same. Check. Um, yeah. So the the main uh, the entry here. If it's cooling, then stash it. If not, we call it and start cooling. Um, the first leading, right? Leading, we need to add the leading here. If um, option leading, if it's option leading, then we trigger it and start cooling. I would say trigger it, start cooling. Right? If not, if this is not leading, then what should we do? Then the call should be uh, stashed, right? To see if it's tra the training. To see uh, if it is training or not. Right? Yeah, so we just stashed this arc. Okay, so we stash it and then we start cooling. Right? If it is leading, we call it and uh, cool it down uh, like this and check it at position C here. Yeah, if it is not leading we put it into stashed and start cooling again yeah and then while we are checking uh for the time time up right when the time is up we check um the timer is null we, we said the timer is null null and then we check if stashed is there or not and uh, oh should we stash it okay when we stash it actually we need to check if training right because if not trailing, we don't stash. We just uh, we don't stash. So if option 
trading. If trading we stash. If not leading and not trading, we do nothing. Yeah. Only check this and then. What when we are check when we check when time is up, if there is something there. If it's stashed, we trigger it and start cooling it down. So I think that's it. This should work. Uh, what if there is only one, uh, one here and leading and training? True. Uh, if it's leading, we already trigger it, so it won't be used as training. For the case like here, a. Uh, leading true, trade true. We trigger it, cooling it down. B. Uh huh. Is uh, oh, stash it. Uh huh. Here. Yeah. There's a problem. If it is in the cooling, and we only stash it when the uh, we stash. Training is true. Okay. We stash it, and then C stash it, and when time is up. We check it and see is there, so we uh, trigger it. Or actually, or we just uh, stash it and uh, then check it. Check the last infinite training, right? Hmm, it could be simpler, I think. Mm hmm. Anyway, so the training doesn't change. So if we don't stash it at the time when time is up, we there is nothing we need to run, right? So I think this should work. Let's run it. Great. Wow. Yeah, it worked. It should work. I just uh, added the uh, all the flags to our previous solutions. Okay, I'll submit it. Um, I'm just interesting if I sh could just uh, add the trading check uh, here, so we don't need to say add the trading here stash stash stuff, and then we just uh, stash it. Yeah, and then check here. If uh, option trailing, yeah, this should also work. Sure, mm, we need better. Uh, no, I think the previous one is better because uh, we don't need it, right? So we should shouldn't add it, uh, stash it at the beginning. Um, the if here is actually a little deep. Let's uh, revise it. And uh, okay, return it, return it, and remove the else here. Yeah, we, we should avoid the too deep if clauses. Okay, and then this else could be good. Mm, yeah, we'll just return. So this part, uh, okay. Okay, so this should work. Mm, no, 39, 38. Uh, mm -hmm. Return, something wrong. Uh huh, uh huh, what's this? Unexpected token, 38. Um, just return, remove this one, remove this one. Oh, what? Ah, sorry. Okay, this is good. Okay. And 
uh, return. Okay, cool. So this is how we submit it and post it on the discussion panel. So if you're interested, please take a look. Okay, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.